Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video, uh, we are going to discuss a problem called the resource assignment problem. And this problem, um, uh, we are going to use this problem throughout the, the, the whole videos. So, consider a consulting company that uh, this company has three open positions. One position as a tester, another one as a Java developer, and another one as an architect. And also uh, consider that the three top resources to perform any of these jobs are Carlos, Joe, and Monica. And assume that uh, through past work that they have done and, and uh, management assessment, etc., um, for each resource there is a matching score. And the matching score basically tells you how well a resource can perform a job. For example, if Carlos work as a tester, uh, the performance of Carlos will be 53%. Uh, he, he, that, that, that will be the productivity and performance of Carlos. So in, in, in this table that I am showing to you, you have the matching scores of each of the resources and each of the jobs. And uh, let's make the following assumptions, that when we are uh, assigning uh, resources to job, for each job uh, we can only assign one resource. And at most one job can be assigned to a resource. So we want to optimize or maximize the total uh, matching score of the assignments that we have. So we might use a simple heuristic to, to solve the, this problem. And let me explain this simple heuristic. So consider the higher uh, score that we have uh, in the table of the matching scores. And then match the resource with the job uh, with the higher matching score. Then eliminate the rest of the jobs that you have uh, and the rest of the resources that you have uh, after the assignment. And then the next step will be to choose the next higher score. If no scores are available, stop. All jobs have been assigned to all resources. Otherwise, if you have a, 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 a matching score that you want to assign and is the higher, uh, the highest, go to step one. So let's consider this table that we have here. So um, the resource with the highest score is uh, uh, Joe doing the tester job. So let's assign Joe to the tester job. Since Joe won't be able to do uh, the Java developer job or the architect job, we are going to eliminate the matching scores associated to those jobs. And since the tester job has been assigned to Joe, uh, Carlos cannot longer do that job and Monica cannot longer do that job. So we are going to eliminate those matching scores. So now let's see what is the next higher uh, matching score. The next higher matching score is Monica doing the Java developer job. So let's choose that uh, job and assign uh, the Java developer job to, to Monica. And again, remove the jobs that the Monica uh, won't be able to do anymore and remove the, the resources that cannot do the Java job. So we are, have this uh, table now, where the only possible option that we have now is to assign Carlos to the architect job. So let's do that. Boom. So let's analyze how good is this uh, assignment um, that we have been able to develop using this very simple heuristic. So as you can see, uh, we can compute the total matching score by just adding the scores of each of the assignments. So the highest assignment was from Joe assigned to tester, uh, getting 80 points. Then Monica was assigned to the Java developer job, 73 points. And then uh, Carlos was assigned to the architect job. And in total, the total uh, matching score is 166. 
let's analyze this, this solution that we have. So this solution is far from optimal. Why? Because Carlos was assigned to a job with his lowest score. Carlos is very badly qualified as an architect. He just have uh, th 13 points <laughs> to do the, the architect job. So certainly we should be able to find better assignments than, 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 than this one. So let's, let, let's try another approach. Another, and this another approach is also very simple. So uh, assign uh, the first job to any of the three candidates that we have. Then for the second job, uh, assign uh, that job to the remaining two candidates. And then for the third job, uh, assign the, the, the job to the remaining uh, candidate. So in total, the number of assignments are, for, for the first job, we have three possibilities. For the second job, we have two possibilities. And for the third job, we, we have one possibility. So the number of possible assignments is three times two times one, which is equal to six. This number has a special name in mathematics. It is called three factorial. And in this particular case, three factorial is uh, three times two times one, which is equal to, to six. So let's enumerate all the possible assignments that we can have with three resources and three jobs. And then let's just choose the, 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 the highest one. And the highest one is uh, when we assign, is, is 193, which is the four uh, combination. And in that particular case, we assign uh, Carlos as a tester. Uh, we assign Monica uh, doing the Java job. And we assign Joe as an architect. And the total matching score is 196. That's the optimal solution. So this approach looks to be reasonable. But let's consider the following case. Now, uh, in this consulting company, they, uh, they, got, uh, they win a major government contract. And now they require to assign 100 jobs. So now the problem is to assign 100 jobs to 100 resources. If we follow the enumeration approach that we just described in the past, we will need to enumerate 100 uh, possible assignments. And how large is this number? So this number uh, has 157 zeros. This number is humongous, much larger than the number of atoms in the universe, which is approximately, approximately uh, a one with 80 zeros. So just, just to give you an idea how uh, this will be literally impossible to solve, even with the fastest computer today. The fastest computer today is an IBM com computer called Summit. And this computer can make uh, mathematical uh, calculations at a rate of 200 petaflops per second. A petaflop is a, a one uh, with 15 zeros. So even with this supercomputer, uh, we won't be able to solve the, the, the problem in, in an astronomical number of years. It will take much more than the whole age of the universe to enumerate all, all, all these solutions. So this approach of enumerating solution is completely impractical. So what we are going to do is, in, in, the, in the next video, we are going to formulate this assignment problem as a linear programming problem. And you will see that when use, we use linear programming uh, problem, even this large problem of 100 uh, resources and 100 uh, jobs can be solved in, in, in a fraction of a second. So see you next time. Thank you for uh, attending this video. See you later.